nice work. The commissioner seemed to have a good ear for it, especially O'Grady. I was he, was. he was looking at me and said, like he, he seemed pretty positive. Like, okay, I got you. I was surprised at all three of them. Yeah. The other two, I don't think, had a clue until that day that there was such a thing as a petition ditch. But I respect them in asking the questions they ask. Correct. And you could just tell they were going to find out what it was. So and I commanded them today. All right, that you're going to study this and look at it, yeah. but they got to look at everything, not just what the county engineer wants to do. Right, and that's where, like you, people come in to help raise the questions so they know what to look at, so I not to just you. what Jim Ramsey tells them. I met with another guy, an elderly in her 80s in a brick house on the north side, almost to the woods by us. And uh, she had received the same letter that everybody else had. And, Did you sign anything for the county? Yeah, I signed something. So they took that as support for the project. So I'm aware that they're looking at all of the land terms, absorbing amounts of money to redo what's working out there now. Nobody does that. But but I did catch Ramsey today about the, they tiled that field and cut the tile and it was all the way down through there and caused all that flooding. And I told the, the uh, commissioners this also. That break in that tile, all the flooding, they finally fixed it, all the flooding went away. And Ramsey acknowledged that yet they were aware of that tile being damaged at some point. There's it's a lot more to that story going on than, oh, than what we know. Yeah, I'm what's, just what's behind it. Yeah, I'm just want. I just want. I told him, let's come Saturday. I'm going to spill everything to you. You guys can take over. I'll take a back seat. This, this there, they're the ones that remind me to give you the chief cell phone number. Okay. Before we leave. All right. We ready to start. Okay. Good to go. I'd like to call the meeting to order for December 13th, 2022. Would you please rise for a moment of silence? Thank you. Would you please join in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. And in this liberty and justice for all. Yeah. <laughs> Roll call. Trustee Chase. Here. Trustee. Here. Trustee. Okay. Uh, we have no minutes to approve. So I will make a motion to pay our expenditures. I'll second that. Roll call. Trustee Sheets. Yes. Trustee Hunter. Yes. And is Hannah on? Uh, yes, she is. Hi, Hannah.
Thank you for being with us again. I think I'm on. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you. And we'll move on to department reports. Deputy Hamilton has an illness in the family and he could not be here. If anybody has any concerns, we can notify them. Road department, Rick. Uh, what we've been doing here lately is equipment maintenance. Uh, burial yesterday. The mosquito contract has been signed and ready for upcoming season. Called uh, tires to Liberty a few days ago. That's what they left me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Chief Whiting is not here tonight. So we have. Hello. Hey, right. just, just so you know, Nance, I'm on. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's you know, he's watching but over, he, like always. But, but Chris, Chris is going to give the report. Are you and the elves watching? Uh, it does start till seven thirty, so I'm sitting in the car, waiting to go in. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, so as far as what we got is um. Uh, staffing, uh, firefighter Krebs started this week. Actually, today's his first day. He's with us right now, which is awesome. Um, and with staffing, uh, chief has a, uh, application for employment, uh, to hire somebody part time. Here's their. Application for you guys. So he's requesting to add that 1 part timer. Uh, the medic. Uh, the radios in the medic have been, uh, has been lettered and radios have been installed. In the new medic, um, equipment, we received a grant for a 1000 dollars for some miscellaneous tools. Uh, as far as community risk reduction, uh, we're partnering with gadgets, uh, this coming Saturday, the 17th. From 10 to 1 to collect toys, so we're gonna do a toy drive with them. Just to help their business out and kind of get us out there too with, with the toys. And uh, with the recent training, every right now we're trying to get the everyone that's able uh, drivers trained on the new medic. So it's pretty much we're getting real close. So getting everyone ready to to get them through that. And that is all Chief Whiting asked for me. And you wanted to put on the part timer tonight? Yes. Is that right, Chief? Yes, Did that's you? correct. Yes. I will make resolution 65 to hire Cameron Carroll for part time. I'll second that. Roll call. Trustee Sheets? Yes. Trustee Hunter? Yes. Thank you. Anything else? Nope. Chief, while we have you on there, do you happen to know without looking at the schedule is this meeting room open Saturday morning at 9 o'clock? Uh, without looking at schedule, I'd say probably 99% yes. Okay, we have um, the group about the petition ditch that would like to meet here. Yep, I, I think that'll be fine. I don't think we have anything scheduled. So, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and let them let, let them know. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be here at nine, so I know they don't have to leave for the toy thing, but I'll be here at nine to occupy this space. Okay. That'll be perfect. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Okay. Anything else for the Chief? Any, any old business? New business. Um, the next meeting is December 27th. And what do you think about holding the meeting? I will will not be here. Randy leaves on the 29th. She said she could be here on the 27th. Okay. Did you say you are? I'm sorry. But yeah. I won't be here, but Randy and Ed will be here. And are you going to be in town? So you. So we'll just leave it regular time. 
Any other new business? Okay, announcements. Um, the Ohio Power Siding Board will vote on the Spring Water Solar Project on Thursday, December 15th at 1.30. Um, their meeting will be streamed live and a recorded webcast of the meeting will be available on the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio's YouTube channel. And I will post this on our um, social media to the connections to get to it. And their HOC board members are Mark Forrest from Jefferson Township and Wayne Francis from township Fairfield, I think. I think Fairfield. it's Fairfield. I'm not yes. sure, but I think so. And they are expected to participate in the vote on the spring water project. It's Fairfield because we we could only have yeah we could only have so they could only accept so many on that board. That'd be a joint. I think Mark Force is representing the commissioners from Madison County. And Wayne's representing so, townships. Yes, and but they have the largest portion. That's why he's doing it. So um, there's also going to be a link tomorrow on the meeting highlights for the full board agenda on that. Then um, this will be the first year to have one of our township cemeteries adopted for Reeves across America. Carrie Cole has adopted Oak Grove Cemetery and hopes that next year to get enough Reeves to sponsor so that they could cover all 200 veterans graves in Oak Grove Cemetery, which surprised me. I thought there can't be that many. There, there is definitely. <laughs> And then she hopes to expand um, and get an earlier start to do the whole cemetery. And this year being the first year of doing it and a late start, we have 40 sponsored wreaths. And if you would like to attend the wreaths across the America ceremony, the Oak Grove Cemetery, and honor a veteran by laying one of the wreaths on a grave Saturday, this coming Saturday, the 17th, please arrive no later than 1145. The ceremony will start promptly at noon. Any other announcements? <laughs> hey, Paula. Okay, um, I received a Christmas card from Sedwick. Um, I, um, we received a letter from um, the law firm of Richards, Johnson and Briggs um, regarding renewal um, using their law firm for next year. Their rates will be the same and they sent a um, resolution that they recommended that be adopted. Want to do that? Yes. I'll make resolution 66 to adopt and sign into effect as of today, contract with Pete Briggs of Brocious Johnson and Griggs and the law firm of Rochus Johnson and Briggs on an annual basis for calendar year 2023 as the township's legal counsel. I'll second that. Roll call. Trustee Sheets? Yes. Trustee Hunter? Yes. Okay. Um, the state auditor's office um, apparently um, Hire um, other companies to do audits for specific townships. Um, they put Pleasant in a pool of six others, um, and they have um, a memorandum of agreement for um, future. Um, well, from January 21st through December 26 audits to be handled by um, BHM CPA group. And uh, they have a memorandum of agreement that needs signed for that. I'll make resolution 67 authorizing Paula as fiscal officer of the township to sign and return to the auditor of state the certification of compliance form and the memorandum of agreement 
awarding BHM CPA group the contract to audit Pleasant Township for the fiscal period January 1st, 2001 through December 31st, 2026. Second that. Roll call. Um, trustee Sheets. Yep. Trustee Hunter. Yes. And trustee. Um, I gave you copies of um, the receipt notification on um, Delta, Delta Dental Benefits and renewing as is um, paying for me. And so um, the payments will remain the same. And I gave copies of the information. Um, just received a flyer from Otarma. Um, just says that as they prepare for 2023, um, the insurance industry's seen several coverage modifications. Um, and I will copy that information um, to the board and department heads. Um, received an email from First Energy Utilities inviting customers to enter a holiday lights contest. Um, Received some information from uh, BWC on an injured worker. Um, I ordered um, the state auditor's office um, make available desk calendars. I'm not quite sure they say a desk calendar if they're the big flat ones or what they are, but um, I ordered that for next year. I'll deliver those. Um, just received an email from the um, county treasurer's office. On, um, they're having on January the 13th a celebration and fundraising day. Look for the treasurer's office star program. If anybody's interested in that, um, received several emails. I'm not sure if anybody else got these besides me, but it has to do with the Franklin County 2023 natural hazard mitigation. So, did anybody get any of that information? So, I will make copies some of that to you guys. Um, I don't ever remember getting any of that before. Um, the Franklin County Commissioner rezoning hearing um, that was scheduled for today was canceled. The Planning Commission has a meeting scheduled for tomorrow. And the Board of Zoning appeals meeting, but scheduled for um, December 19th, the same transcript. And an email from Office Budget, Budget and Management of Monthly Financial Report, um, County Auditor's Office. Again, I'm not sure why they started sending these out, but weekly residential home sales reports, um, updates from Burma Flowers on insurance contacts. Um, Several emails from the wellness coach um, coaches um, program. Just several flyers from Otarma on various trainings and webinars. Um, several emails from um, the State Township Association on um, legislative updates and alerts. Uh, several emails from Swaco um, talking about recycle and waste reduction. And then several emails from the Franklin County Board of Election on um, their holding there when they have their meetings. So that's pretty much all I have. Anything else for Paula? Um, and just to note, I'm not sure why we started getting um, checks on a monthly basis from Rumpke. So it was probably about four or five months, and they averaged around five or six hundred dollars in a month. And then um, each one, huh? Each one, yeah. But then um, I think of last month, maybe. And then um, Randy had somehow got it, but it was a check, but it was only like a, less than a hundred dollars. And then we haven't got anything this month, so I'm not sure why they started. And then all of a sudden, but I'll check and see what's going on. I mean, we'd never gotten them before, right? And then all of a sudden they started coming in, and now it looks like they're going to quit coming in, but I'll. Check on this. That's all I have. Does anyone have anything else? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second, Roll call. Trustee Sheets. Yes. Trustee Hunter. 
Yes, Sam, trustee good up. Bye, Chief. Enjoy. I will. Thanks. We'll talk to you. There he is.